Hey guys, Xmaster here, and today I'm gonna go over the Destiny hotfix for 1.2.0.2. So, starting out with key highlights. The first wanted bounty, wanted fallen bounty completed each week is now guaranteed to drop a treasure key. Greatly increased the drop rate of treasure keys from the small chests at the end of the Prison of Elders. And increased the drop rate of treasure keys from either chest. Prisoner of Elders. Greatly increase the drop rate of treasure keys from the small chests as said before. Class items will not drop from level 32, level 34, and level 35. So I think it was only dropping from level 32 as people were in fact wondering which in which difficulty I got my class item from. So I guess it was only dropping in some uh, levels. Fix a bug in which the ship Hildian Seeker did not drop under certain circumstances. The Hild Hildian Seeker is a Skola ship. It looks amazing. Fix the bug in which the Yellow Cipher bounty could not be acquired if your bounty inventory was full. You will need to defeat Skolas again to receive the Yellow Cipher bounty. Damage caused by Quadrant's Gaze is reduced by 25%. Damage of Multiplier for the Jailbreaker buff is increased by 100%. I'm really happy about this because this means I can go around no scoping my team's bubbles with an LDR, which is amazing. Trials of Cyrus. Fix an issue wh in which Trials of Cyrus emblems were not sent to the Postmaster if your emblem inventory was full. This was an issue for me as I was not getting my emblems as my inventory was, in fact, full. So, yeah, as good as fi it's fixed. Passage coins can now be dismantled. Weekly heroic fixes. Fix an issue where the weekly heroic strikes did not award engrams. Note, tooltip will not display them as rewards, but they will, in fact, drop. Increase the drop rate of treasure keys from ether chest. Ether chest may o only be looted once for spawn. Ether chest will no longer grant ammo consumables when open. Ether chest will now grant a small amount of cleans rat the reputation when open. And ether chest will now have a chance to drop tokens of flight, identity, and judgment. So, a lot of people are pretty disappointed that you cannot farm the chest anymore, but... I don't know why they were complaining because it, it it's not it's glitching the game anyway, so it wasn't meant to be like that. Plus, the drop rate of treasure keys is increased, so it, it's really balanced anyway. So moving on to quests, petrol no longer display a quest waypoint for players who have not purchased House of Wolves. Fixed a bug in which players abandoning the guns of ground quests were still being directed to the Venus Patrol. Bounties, the first wanted fallen bounty completed each week is now guaranteed to drop a treasure key. And weapons uh, fixed a bug in which the 1.2.0.1 hotfix mistakenly did not contain the 1.1.1 fusion rifle balance changes. As a result, players were playing with its pre-1.1.1 weapon balance state. The original fix has been reapplied. And finally, items, token of flight, identity, and judgment can now be dismantled to gain plus 10 house of judgment reputation each. And ammo consumables can now stack to 100. I'm really happy about that because it clears up a lot of space in my vault and inventory. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this patch. I certainly did because I can get treasure keys more often now. It's much easier to get, meaning I can open more treasure chests. Hopefully this makes all these changes are good for you as well. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for Daily Destiny content and I'll see you next time. Stop.